Up here, I'm not quite sure that Charlottesville qualifies as a Philly suburb. It's about a five-hour drive. So, what do you think? Outskirts. Outskirts. Okay. Well, well, we're very, we're very happy to be here. And um, the the reason I'm here is CCRI is a small analytics company. And uh, about uh, three years ago, one of our customers said, uh, "We want you to move one of your land analytics from a standard architecture to a cloud architecture." And Oh, by the way, there's no relational data store at all, and you can't have one. And while well, we were thinking, well, but PostGIS is really nice. We like it. So we set about uh, working in an environment with no relational database, and we were told we were going to use uh, Accumulo. And so we told them, we said, well, we're going to have to re-implement a lot of this stuff. And they said, go ahead and do what you need to do. So we set out uh, creating what has recently become GeoMesa. And it's an Accumulo adapter for storing, indexing, querying, analyzing spatio-temporal data in Accumulo. And uh, to give you an idea of sort of where it fits in this great architecture that we have here, you have the uh, GeoMesa adapter, which works right here. And it has implemented many of the GeoTools interfaces. And we also have a plugin inside of uh, GeoServer so that uh, you can access the data uh, without having to deal with a lot of the intricacies of uh, working in Accumulo. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll break this up into each of those components, talk about them, and then get off stage because I have probably two minutes left. Um, what makes uh, the uh, GeoMesa particularly useful is uh, the index, which is at the heart of it. And what we've done is we've created an index that uh, forces the data to be spread evenly across all of the tablet servers in, in Accumulum. This uh, forcing the data to be spread across maximizes the amount of parallelization you get when you have a, a cloud. And uh, we do that using the index. And a uh, relatively straightforward idea, the first part of the uh, index is a shard ID. And then we have multiple uh, spatial and temporal hashes to hone in on the area that you're looking at. So this allows us to uh, quickly query the data. And we have a lot of examples of where we've uh, put pretty large data sets in relatively small clouds and gotten good performance using this. The other piece uh, that I think is particularly useful, and I think a lot of people will find uh, perhaps the most useful part, is the fact that it has a GeoServer plugin. So if you log into GeoServer and you've got it all installed, you can see right here, you've got an Accumulo feature store right there. And so now you can access uh, the data that's stored in the cloud using your regular old WMS, WFS plugins, which is you know, really simple. And uh, the last piece, the last way to get at these data that you have now stored in uh, Accumulo is uh, through the GeoTools interface. So you can either access it through the GeoServer tools or you can uh, use the GeoTools interface directly on your application. And we've implemented a lot of the basic, uh, uh, basic interfaces in GeoTools. Long term, our goal is to implement as much of the Geo, uh, GeoTools interfaces as possible. That's where we're heading. Uh, the first thing that we're going to be doing uh, as now that we're officially a location tech project is implementing the security features uh, that uh, exist in Accumulo. So one of the reasons that a lot of, uh, a lot of your customers and a lot of people like using Accumulo is it has cell-based security, and we want to make sure that that you know, flows all the way through. And so you can have cell-based security and store your spatial data in Accumulo. Um, let's see here. Uh, the other really cool thing is because we've implemented the same interface, you can swap out your database. If you want to be developing on PostGIS and then in a production environment move over to Accumulo, you're not going to incur a huge overhead and it's not going to be a lot more work. Uh, so that, that's a huge advantage, I think, especially if you don't want to run Accumulo on your laptop. Um, <laughs> lastly, uh, so what does it allow you to do? We've, we've stored millions and millions, hundreds of millions of points in the database. And uh, the examples that we're creating, we've created a, uh, uh, a simulated database of all flights. And we can actually uh, run this, and you can watch the tracks move on a very, very tiny cloud for the whole world, all, you know, imaginary set. But it's uh, 2.5 billion data points on maybe an eight node cloud, and you can actually track without any caching in your browser. So the querying is very, very fast. Uh, we've implemented a lot of the eCQL queries, so you can just simply uh, query the data directly and get great performance. So the, the process that you have to go through to use it is you store your data in Accumulo, we'll index, index it for you, then as you grow your data, you can scale horizontally, and then you build the great analytics that you need to do. And uh, I think, uh, I don't think I need to preach to the choir here about how many large 
uh, spatial data sets there are, as uh, mobile devices and everything else proliferates, this is just going to be a growing field and there's going to be more and more need for these kinds of technologies. So um, we're very, very excited to be here as part of Location Tech, one of the Location Tech projects, and we're looking forward to working with many of you as potential partners or users of, of potentially, of this uh, software. So uh, thank you very much and uh, enjoy. <laughs>